Hello again, my name is Raida Wust and in this brief video we take a look how you can download and install Autodesk products a bit differently. This was introduced by Autodesk 2021 and it's available currently, it's available for current subscribers which means that uh, you can use this additional possibility of uh, download and installation if you are a current subscriber, either commercial or educational. So what does it mean? It's called custom install and you can access it from manage.autodesk.com. So I have been logged in with my current Autodesk account, which also includes some subscriptions. Well, those are educational ones. And if I want to download my products, then obviously I can use all those kind of old ways to do it. But I also have a new way to do it, which is called custom install. Now remember, if I would use a different account in where I don't have any subscriptions yet available, then my custom install is also empty, so I can't use it. In other words, if I go and see my all products and services in where I have a subscription available, then first indication is that, okay, I do have a selection of products. Just as before when we used a um, more classical way of downloading Autodesk software. Now, if I go to custom install, then in here, I can select first license type. So my licenses are serial number based. So I select serial number and now I can select which product I want to tune up before I start the downloading. And depending on a different product, you can select different um, options. For example, if I select AutoCAD MEP, then I can select which version I want to install or download. I can also include customized product registration, but also it's very convenient way if you have your serial number ready, then you can include that serial number into this download and installation method and installation and activation is a lot quicker. But which is more important is that uh, you have customizations and you can include different content packs which usually you selected during installation. But now, before you even start a download, you can select or mark those uh, individual content packs. And obviously you have used to use some of those, so uh, you select those. You have also possibilities to include some content path and also additional components, which more or less belong to AutoCAD side, for example, express tools. You can also include extensions. And if I take another example, which I also download and install because I don't have it yet installed in my machine. So let's practice this procedure from start to end. If I select a different product like 3ds Max, again, I can select a version and I can select different extensions. Usually those extensions were available through Autodesk app which also was quite convenient way to upgrade or update your product, include different extensions. But still, it was a separate um, activity, which uh, meant that, uh, okay, you open up Autodesk desktop app, or you go to manage and uh, download those extensions uh, individually. And then you have to kind of um, install those uh, into all of your machines. So now, once again, you can simply include all needed extensions into your download and then this download will include all those updates straight away. Of course, sometimes not all extensions are available when new version is coming out. So that is the reason why the list of extensions is maybe somewhat shorter with new versions. Anyway, I will include all those extensions and once I have finished up, this part of the story. I can click next. Now I can include install settings into my download, which is usually C drive, program files and Autodesk, but you can change it, of course. I also agreed to the terms of use. And now I create installer, which starts the procedure of creating installer. And once this is done, then I can download this package into my machine. But first, Pay attention to that uh, my current exe file is called Autodesk Custom Installer. So I first include this into my hard drive and let's put um, also a folder like so. And then I download it 
into this folder, save. You can also use this kind of method to combine different products into one installation package. Again, which is very time saving and useful. So I can close this message and then I can fire up this Autodesk custom installer, which was downloaded just now. I hit yes. So Autodesk custom install setup will be prepared for my machine or download location. By the way, you can still use this method to install this same product or combination of products into different machines. And I will show it later how you can do that. But let's wait once this creating installer is ready. Once the installer has been downloaded, uh, it will be fired up automatically. But of course, you can do that at another time. As you see, I can see preparing to install. And then I can select if I want to start a installation or if I want to cancel. I will cancel this time because I want to show in where you can find this installer so that you can do that at later times as well. So let's pick cancel right now and I will minimize my browser window. I was downloading my custom installer into folder called 3ds Max 2022. But if I open this up, then I can see a same EXA file. But my actual installation files are in another folder, which is the common location also to other methods when you use to download your Autodesk software. So instead of my previous folder, it is actually inside Autodesk. And then I can see a, some abstract name, numbers and letters. If I open this up, this is now my 3ds Max installation folder. And I can fire up my installation through this PIT file. Remember, if you want to move this folder to another location, for example, and even if you want to rename this folder, you have to be careful because this PIT file refers to that folder name. So if you rename this folder, you have to also edit this PIT file, which is actually quite easy to do. But keep in mind that uh, you have to do that, otherwise this installer doesn't work. So in other ways, you have to just uh, change, for example, drive letter and subfolder. And maybe this abstract name is, in my case, 3ds Max. But for example, if you download multiple products, then it might be a kind of user profile name, whatever. So you have to change those path names as well. But once I have this um, installer package ready, I can simply double click this PIT file and then my preparing to install dialog opens again. And now I can just click install. And this time the installation is much quicker because all selections were already made when I was downloading or creating my installer package. This makes it very easy to install the software if you get the installer in such a way. And also at late times when you do need to reinstall or maybe if you have to install it into different machines. You just fire installer. Let's wait once installation has been finished. And then we also check how to fire up the product and do we see any difference in that in terms of activations as such. As it can be seen, my icon is already available at my desktop. So once the installation is finished, those dialogues disappear automatically. If I do need to restart my PC or computer, then I get an extra message. But otherwise, I can just continue and fire up my fresh new products. So let's try that out. I do have 3ds Max 2022, which was current focus while I was using this custom installation method. And I do a double click to fire it up. I get Autodesk licensing. I can see some messages. I hit continue and then my 3ds Max is opened up first time. I can also directly see that my current license is activated because it was selected during 
creation of custom installer, which makes things a lot easier. So I don't have to do that extra step to activate my product. So if I go to my username and hit manage license, I can see that it's activated. This simplifies a lot if I want to download and install some specific products in some specific ways, meaning that I can directly include also different plugins or content packs. And the number of products that you can see under custom install will probably increase, meaning that more and more Autodesk software packages are made available through this installation option. And basically when we talk about uh, deployments, because this is basically a deployment, but it has been made up in Autodesk server and then we downloaded it, we have been able to create those deployments before, but then we again downloaded all the files beforehand and then we created a deployment. Now this is a lot easier because uh, in addition to create the deployment, we can also include different plugins and extensions that are available at the moment when we create it. And if you want to create a deployment for different products straight away, then probably you can use also different name for this installer, not using a default name, what I did beforehand. Okay, I hope that you learned something new during this video and um, this custom install is quite a fresh and new option from Autodesk. So please try it out and uh, you can include some comments. Do you like it or you prefer some uh, previous methods to download and install Autodesk products? Bye bye. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.